today we are going to discuss from the topic plumbing and basic related terms some of you have asked what are the basic terms which i have been using in the previous classes maybe later on so i thought let us take all the possible items that i can collect related with plumbing in one or two classes and i have made a presentation on plumbing glossary it's like a dictionary so welcome to this class this is unit 1 and class number 4 and hopefully in the next class also i will be covering the same topic also so today we will discuss basically from a b c and d and in the next class the remaining alphabets will be discussed so if i ask you a snake is a fatal reptile you will say yes sir right similarly if i say what is pex and you will say we can develop very nice pecs and biceps if we go daily gyms and do heavy lifting there but this is very important in this context both of these terms have a different meaning the snake and pecs are in fact plumbing terms so in order to understand plumbing and its work process it is very very important to understand some key terms so let us start those key terms in alphabetical order and uh, we have added pictures as well as the definitions as well as the functions purpose so let us start so the first letter is a and the first term is abs abs actually stands for acrylonitrile butadiene styrene it's a chemical it's a form of plastic which is uh, very very strong durable and tough and it is basically used for manufacturing pipes which can be used for plumbing in different uh, purposes especially in the drains and the vents and we must have seen those pipes in the parking area of our college where abs pipes have been used not they are not just pvc pipes pvc pipes are basically used for uh, electrical fixtures all right and then comes ac pipes actually all these kinds of pipes we will study in a different class uh, where the classification of pipes and their purposes materials everything we will study in detail but still ac pipes are not the ac pipe which we understand ac doesn't here stands for air conditioning but it is asbestos cement pipe which is used in water distribution system see asbestos has a very harmful effect on respiratory system if it is used just like as a concrete and it was used earlier it was suggested by scientists but later on they realized this creates a very big challenge to those who are living inside the buildings but asbestos cement is a mixture which can be used anywhere and it is very very healthy actually there are no dust there then comes adapter what is adapter adapter is a equipment which joins one pipe with another pipe just you can see here is a picture of adapter which has helical rings inside on the both side and you can add the two pipes on the either side of the adapter then comes air gap what is air gap the air gap is the distance between the lowest point of a water inlet or pipe to a tank and the overflowing level of the tank just seeing this picture there is a wash basin and you are seeing a tap so the distance between the lowest point of the tap from where the water is uh, incoming into the wash basin and the overflowing level the distance between these two level is considered as air gap similarly in the other picture also if you see this is a picture of a water tank and there is an inlet which you are seeing and that is supplying water so we are considering the lowest point of the water inlet and there is a overflowing pipe also which is also called warning pipe through which excess water overflows and we can see that tank is full so the distance between the lowest point of water inlet and the highest point of the overflowing discharge pipe is considered as the air gap so air gap is very very important in calculating uh, energy heads and siphonages so that will be discussed in the coming classes 
then comes auger auger is uh, an equipment which has a helical screw blade which is, it is especially used for drilling a hole and we must have seen these kinds of equipments in many construction sites nowadays not much mechanical augers are used there are electrical motor fitted augers and such electric augers are much more uh, efficient and faster in the work process for drilling a hole what is this available head actually head whenever you understand head head is actually referring to the height and the height has to be measured from some potential reference so available head is actually the head of the water available at point of consideration due to mains pressure or over a tank or any other source of pressure just like in this picture if i ask you what is the available head at the center of the pump available head is the height h which is calculated from the center of the pump to the highest liquid level available in the water tank and this also includes the atmospheric pressure also p not plus rho gh if you have studied this uh, in the 12th class and that becomes very important when we discuss the pressure and energy concept of water well, how does water flow from high pressure to low pressure just like the air it also flows from high pressure to low pressure so this was all about letter a and then comes b first term is back flow what is back flow back flow means as the term suggests there is a flow of water in the reverse direction as it was supposed to just like in this picture that you are seeing here there is a water tank which is supplying water to the city in every house but what happens that if one house is uh, getting uh, potable water and if in other house some accident has happened or some industrial uh, waste has been generated and that non potable hazardous substance has mixed with the water and the uh, due to change in hydraulic conditions uh, there it has resulted into back flow and back flow is the unwanted flow of water in the reverse direction and it leads to wastage of water due to leakage or some defect which is also possible due to back siphonage siphonage is against the pressure difference and this can leads to many accidents in fact the waste of the water pollution of water bursting of pipes and many accidents related with that then comes back flow prevention device there are many devices that is available to prevent the back flow so those devices are fit in such a way that allows water to flow in only one direction not in the opposite direction and its only job is to prevent drinking water from being contaminated due to back flow just look at this uh, beautiful image that you are seeing there is a city water supply which is supplying water to every home and in between uh, and uh, just outside the home we have provided a back flow preventer when there is some accident when there is normal supply the water is actually reaching to the house and to the agricultural fields but in case if there is some accident and water is flowing in the opposite direction the back flow preventer doesn't allow it to do so and we remain safe then comes black water black water we all have seen in the public drains outside our house that is black water so we can say that it is the waste water from toilets then comes bidet and uh, bidet is actually a special plumbing fixture that is uh, used by a person after using the bathroom for cleansing and these fixtures are nowadays very popular in developed countries so in the image you are seeing a bidet installed beside a water closet which is covered here then we come to branch see when we discuss piping network for the distribution of water surely there will be some main pipes and there will be some branch pipes so branch is any part of the piping system 
other than the main pipe is known as branch so branch are also further classified as different kinds of pipes before discussing these four kinds of pipe let me tell you there are two terms soil water and waste water soil water is actually the waste water coming from the toilets urinals or bidet but the waste water is the normal waste water of the domestic purpose is especially from the bathing washing or the kitchen etc so branch soil pipe is the branch pipe which carries soil water to the main pipe then comes branch soil waste pipe there is the branch pipe which carries soil water as well as waste water to the main pipe then comes branch ventilating pipe branch ventilating pipe is mainly used for vents to dispose the fumes gases that is evolved during the uh, drainage to the outside air then comes branch waste pipe and this pipe is especially dedicated for transferring waste water to the main pipe so it is very simple definition and we can understand so branch pipes has to be connected with the main pipes using some special kinds of fixtures like this then comes burr and burr is a raised edge or a small piece of material which remains attached to the pipe or a work piece after modification process just like we have a saw and if we cut a pipe using the saw and if you take a look at the pipe you will see there will be burrs on the pipe edges so those extra material that is left on the work piece that is called burr and we have to remove those extra unwanted piece of material using a special equipment which is called file f i l e this is not the file which we use file is also called deep burring tool and the process is called deep burring so this was all about letter b and then we come to c so the very first uh, term which comes in c is cistern and cistern is a small tank which is used to store water for supplying water to one tap or uh, especially these uh, small tanks are installed for flushing the toilet so this is also a cistern a small example of cistern but cistern is not limited to this only cistern can be a small tank which is supplying water through a tap and it can be used at any dhaba or any restaurants you see on the road side so that is also called cistern then comes cleaning eye and cleaning eye is also called as assessing eye and uh, if you look at these pipe fittings these are actually the joints where multiple pipes join and there is a potential risk that something can obstruct the pipe uh, water flow through the pipe so an uh, eye opening is provided at these joints and uh, they are covered with a removable plug uh, which is uh, which we can remove and have uh, an access through what is obstructing and we can easily remove those substance using some plumbing tools so this is all about cleaning eye and then comes coupler coupler as the name suggest it connects two pipes the those two pipes may have uniform or varying diameter or uh, they can be pipes of uh, different material also so in this image there are different kinds of couplers are being shown the first one is uh, the coupler which connects two pipes of uniform diameter and beside that there is another coupler which connects two pipes of different diameters and the coupler shown at the back can connect three pipes and can form easily a t joint and the coupler at the rightmost side can connect two pipes at 90 degree and forming a elbow joint and if you scrutinizingly look at these couplers then at the edges there are a special kind of screw and bolts arrangement is provided there is a belt in which the helical rings are provided and there is a screw and these kinds of arrangement are very very effective and efficient in connecting different pipe fittings in plumbing they are truly revolutionary and they have transformed life like anything 
then comes crown of trap trap is another pipe fittings that we will discuss when the letter t comes just have a look at the one kind of p trap this is a trap fitting this is also called p trap and the topmost point of the inside of a trap outlet so we will discuss this trap in the next class so the next letter comes as b the first term is diameter and unless specifically mentioned diameter stands for the nominal diameter of the pipe fittings and there can be two kinds of diameter measurement outer diameter and inner diameter most of the time inner diameter is mentioned in our case and below that is direct tap tap is also called as faucet f a u c e t so direct tap or faucet is connected to the supply pipe and this supply pipe comes from the main water supply of the city and they are subjected to huge pressure from the water main then comes the down take tap or faucet these tap or faucet connected to a system of piping not subjected to water pressure from the water main so any tap beside the direct tap can be considered as down take tap or faucet next term is drain water outlet this stands for any pipe which conveys discharges from sanitary appliances including uh, everything that be installed in kitchen or bathrooms to the drainage system and the last term for this class is drain ventilating pipe and this pipe is provided just outside the home which is uh, used for ventilation of the air to or from a drain to prevent undue concentration of foul air in the drain because if that remains there it can create pressure in the pipe and pipe may burst in most of the cases the main waste pipe or main soil pipe may serve as a drain ventilating pipe if in the upper portion they are not receiving any discharges and they are extended to the roof level and let open to the air and they can very easily vent the air which is being created inside the drain to the outside environment so we leave the remaining terms to be discussed in the next class so stay tuned we will meet in the next class very soon thank you